so now let's let's get on to the next one uh, which is our uh, data modeling what we talked about database design and data modeling so so what we are doing now trying to get now is uh, we are trying to build a data model here okay so first we will understand what is a data model what what it has okay what are the components of your data model okay uh, what what are relations here? What are entities? We'll we'll go through the terminologies of this uh, data modeling here. Okay. So as part of data model, what you have whenever you take a data model, it will have two different layers or or two different types in this. One is called the logical model, and other one is called the physical model. Okay. Uh, so logical model is nothing but which is mostly understood by your business users so where you have your full names given to that okay uh, you have the names given as per the business you you first do the requirement gathering you get the uh, specifications or are you not the actual tool or the transformation specifications but what you want to capture the data based on subjects uh, groups all those things is what to gather that so that portion is called as a logical model okay so logical model is basically as what I just said right it is used for by the business users more so for them to understand is what we will build mostly the logical model okay uh, so so when you come to the logical model okay hmm, so what you have here is we have something called uh, relation okay so how this logical model goes here is uh, we have something called entities here okay before getting on to this relation we will come to this saying that why do we need a data model because okay let's let's not come to this uh, relational data model so why do you need a data model is basically it will give you an entire picture of how your data flows okay so what is your data flow how it starts how it flows so all that is what it will tell you uh, on on what is a data model altogether. Exactly like what Daniel said, right? It's it's a blueprint of your data. How it tells it gives you an entire story of from a business point of view, saying how the data is stored there. Okay, it will be like a one point reference for you uh, where it tells you what all is being stored in your data warehouse okay or or in your database uh, what how they are related to each each of the tables uh, what is their type what is their characteristic what is their size all those informations is what it will give you at a one glance here okay so that is why it uh, and and also for your easy maintenance if you want to enhance your system so it it gives you a better understanding about your entire database how it is so for that purpose is what your data model will be very useful here okay then when should a data model be created uh, basically when you are trying to get the information or when you are doing your requirement gathering so that time itself if you if you create a data model that will be very helpful uh, basically this will be done during your analysis phase of your SDLC cycle okay uh, I hope everyone knows what are the phases of your SDLC right uh, you have your uh, analysis phase then you have your design phase then you have your build and unit test and then you have your implementation phase so these are the very high level phases what you have as part of your SDLC so in that in analysis phase itself when you are gathering the requirements so that is where you build your data model here okay uh, this is basically built before you start your development work okay uh, this data model is will be built there okay 